guys, it's Web Karma here and this is my first ever Cinema 4D tutorial I've done on my channel so if you do enjoy, leave a thumbs up, uh, comment below if you don't understand some parts I explained, maybe my voice would be a bit weird or like anything, just comment if you don't understand anything. Uh, all the materials and light rooms will be down in the description below so make sure to download them if you wish. Um, let's get right into it. So. Click on file, click on merge, um, merge into some AI files. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use Dame, Dame, Tam, I don't know how to pronounce the word, pronounce the king, the trick, I mean, uh, pronounce the clan name. Um, I used to be in the clan as well, so that's pretty funny. Um, right, so what you wanna do is, if you have a plus sign next to your logo, what you want to do is click on it and it should have like a um, few paths if you don't have it it's cool just ignore this part but if you do click on the logo name hold shift and click on the last path so what it does is select all of them even the name logo name right click connect objects and delete so what it does it merges all the paths together so you don't have to mess around with anything else so what you want to do now is put some extrude nerves and drag the AI file into the extrude nerves and it should have like a 3D logo, so you can mess around with width. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it to like, say, I'll say like 75. 75 is pretty good. Um, let's just try it in the middle. Make sure you drag it in the middle, otherwise the light one will not work. If you turn like all the way on the side, um, there we go. Right, and just. Right, so when you have that done, what you want to do is click on caps, make sure you put, put fill a cap on both of them, uh, steps on 10 and the radius on 3 centimeters. It gives it like a nice look. Make sure you put it on both of them, 3 centimeters. There you go. Um, what you want to do now is you want to copy the extrude nerves, and next to the extrude nerves, well, it's called hyper nerves. Next to it, click on it and click on atom array. And drag the extrude nerves, the duplicate one into our atom array. What it does, it oh, yep. So what it does, it gives like a line outlined of the logo, it's like a nice, cool-looking effect. You can then change the radius to like one centimeter. I think, yep, one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna leave it to one centimeter. You can change it to zero point five, two, three, whatever you like. Um, what we want to do now is uh, drag in some materials, so I'm going to test out some materials because I haven't tested these out, these are new materials I downloaded like 10 minutes ago before I started doing this video. Um, let me just check these materials out, oh, cubic, oh yeah by the way make sure you always uh, put cubic and uh, you check seamless every time you uh, put material on. Material on. <clears throat> let's quick render it, let's see what it looks like. Come on, don't be, don't be so slow. Maybe this is after render small, um, small part of it. Um, come on, don't want to waste too much time doing this tutorial. I want to do it really quick, but not quick. So otherwise, you won't understand. I mean, like not make it like 20 30 minutes long tutorial because you don't want you don't want that obviously um yeah i'm gonna keep this up and then i'm gonna put devil on the extrude nerves oh jesus yep cubic seamless you can obviously put anything you want on it it's really entirely up to you um what i do is i check atom array and uh extrude nerves and i rotate it oh. Wait, hang on a minute. Yep. Uh, right. I just rotated it, you can do it the same thing as you did, just rotate it a little bit downwards. It gives like a nice cool looking effect. Uh, what you can do now is, uh, let's use the Nitro Blast. So what you want to do is duplicate extrude nerves again. Um, click on it, click on plugins, Nitro Blast, and then Nitro Blast main. Uh, set the pieces to, I'm gonna set the pieces to like 205. Change, change your high, the fracture. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Please, quick, 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 don't be slow. Why are these so slow? Alright, 82, 19, come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Yep, there we go. So 100% it's done now, right? It's, uh, it's all done now. You should get two materials, so you can just delete these two materials because you don't need them. So you should have an X like on, on material saying you don't have a material on it. So the second material you should put on is the one you put on Atom Array. It's entirely up to you, whichever one you put on. So I'm going to put the one I put on uh, Atom Array on um, the missing one, like when it, where, is it, where it said X. And uh, check seamless. So what you want to do now is you want to go Mocraft, uh, click Fracture, open up the Nitro Blast, uh, what, what we just did. Uh, main pieces, uh, dynamic, P0, what you want to do is hold shift, scroll all the way down to the last piece and then click, click on it. And what you should do is you select, select all the pieces together and then just drag it into fracture. So now you can delete this nitroplastic should notice what we just did. Just it's empty, we don't need it, it's going to get on our way. Uh, click on fracture, click on more craft, click on effector on random and what it should do is break up pieces so it looks pretty insane you can add obviously different materials on it whatever you wish um one sec hang on a minute i need to pull this up a little bit uh, and then just pull it back so it's not in front of the logo yep so now it looks pretty insane. Right, let's just rotate a little bit downward. So, what you what you can do now is obviously add another effect to it. Like, you can uh, the first extrude nerves. Click on the first one. Uh, click on plugins. Do the same thing with the nitro blast. Set the pieces to like 205, like you did on the last one. Um, click on high. I'm gonna do this part fast because you already seen how I did it. So you can copy this down as well. So this is just a slight, like a small effect. You don't have to do this, but I prefer. It looks, makes it look nice a little bit. Oh, hopefully it's not going to take a long time. Like the last time. I hope you understood everything I like explained so far. If you didn't, just comment as I said from the start. Cause my voice is a bit cracky and like weird right now because I catched the call a couple of days ago and my voice is coming back slowly <clears throat> right uh, when you uh, so you want to delete sorry you want to delete these materials again add the same material like you did fork seamless more graph fracture open up main pieces dynamic piece zero select all of them like we did last time just repeat the part of what we did Delete, fracture, more craft, effective and random. So when you've done that, you don't want to be hundred strength to be hundred percent. Otherwise, it's just gonna look nothing. It's just gonna look like a pile of pieces stuck together. So what you want to do is set it to like five percent. So what it does, it breaks up like little pieces, so you can see it's like cracking up. So it doesn't look. It looks like it's like about to explode. So it makes it look really, really nice. This is what I prefer to do like each time. So I'm gonna put it to like. Yeah, I'm gonna put it five percent. So yeah, guys. So this um, actually, I'm gonna show you the render setting as well before I finish this tutorial. So click on render settings. Uh, click on anti ali. Sorry, I can't pronounce that word. Um, anyway, click on the same thing I just clicked on. Click on best. Uh, minimum level one by one times one. One times one. Oh, one times one. Sorry. And uh, max level, if you've got a good computer, you can put it to like 8 times 8, 4 times 4. Like, I'm gonna put it to 4 times 4, 4x4, whatever you wanna say. Um, save, save it to wherever you want it to save it. And I'm gonna save it to my desktop, for example. Uh, change the format to PNG if you don't want any background on it. And uh, check alpha channel, obviously. But if you do want a background on it, don't click alpha channel and set this uh, format to JPEG. So what it does, it gives you like a black crack, black crown, if you want it obviously, but if you don't, you just click alpha channel and PNG. So yeah guys, this is how we do um, 
Like this is how I use an Nitro Blast on Cinema 4D and this is how I make my logos daily like uh, for people and uh, sometimes I put like Umami effects, some Reaper effects maybe on it, some other effects and uh, yeah so this is the part 1 on Cinema 4D, hope you enjoyed, the part 2 will be coming out um, later like next week so hope you enjoyed, leave a like, comment below if you didn't understand as I said from the start and um, subscribe so yeah I'll see you guys next time, peace.